All right, let's go over how to hook the trailer onto your vehicle. What I've done so far is we've got the trailer in a stationary place. I have wheel blocks on the wheels of the trailer, so it won't roll. We have the jack down holding the front part. I've backed up my vehicle to be underneath this uh, trailer wall. This trailer is light enough that if you need to, there is the ability to move this somewhat on your own. Uh, to help it line up if you need to pull the trailer to match up with the ball So the there are several ways to do this. I think the easiest for me is I usually just start by lowering the uh, Hood over the ball of the uh, Car and that way everything else is going to be to its proper distance from the car when I hook it up I have taken this latch here lifted it up, pulled back, and that's made it so this should drop down just right over the ball. And as you see, because of the roller, it kind of pulls itself right in there. Now it's latched on, and I quickly try and get this up and out of your way. I mentioned before always make sure you've got the wheel blocks on when your car is not hooked to the trailer because you don't want it rolling away on you. So the way this jack works, uh, you pull a handle out and you swing it counterclockwise and let's see I'm gonna turn this a little so you can see hopefully but the wheels right here it's best if the they swivel and you want the part that sticks out most of these wheels to be facing towards the driver's side here and that puts it so it fits into this nice little uh, area right under the box and you'll hear it click so now that's all in so coming back to where we were what we've got is the electrical You'll notice this uh, ridge lines up with a ridge in your car. Mine's right up at 12 o'clock, and I believe most vehicles are lined up that way if they're electrical. If you're using a four prong, you'll use the adapter into our seven pin, and then that can go into your four prong at this point. Okay, now take the chains. And the customary way to do this is to cross the chains. So I take this one that starts off on the driver's side, come over the top and hook on there. This that starts on the passenger side, come over the top and hook. Then this is your leash. It hooks to an emergency brake. Just pull that. And I have hooked a second little ring here uh, just to give you a little bit of room, uh, the width of uh, my hook of the bar didn't work with this strap so well. Now you're all hooked up and ready to go. Uh, last thing you'll do before you take off, take the lock and you lock that back on. And then uh, that way it will stay on for sure. You're solid driving down the road.